channel. I'm so excited to be back and filming for you guys. I know it's been a minute and I know I always say that, but I moved to a different house, a bigger space. I have my own filming studio now, so I am able to come in and out and film for you guys whenever I want. So I decided to come back and film this makeup tutorial, which is my go-to look. Um, when I have like meetings, when I, I'm gonna be out of the house for the whole entire day running errands. This is the look that I feel most comfortable in. So I just decided to film it for you guys. So if you wanna see how I got this look, just stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off with using the L'Oreal Hydrogenous um, Moisturizer. This one is for normal to oily skin. Um, this actually just came out a few weeks ago. Um, I've tried it a few times and I actually like it because not only it hydrates, um, it also mattifies the skin. Um, so I'm just gonna start off by applying a little bit of this all over my face. It feels so good and so refreshing on the skin. It's super important, even if you do have oily skin, to hydrate your skin because you still need some type of hydration on your skin. Moving on to primer, because I like to stay more matte, um, I like to always use the, this is the NYX Shine Killer. I snap about this all the time. I'm just going to do like a little bit of this, about that amount. I like to focus it mostly where I tend to get oily which is my forehead, my nose, my cheeks most of the time. And usually because I'm not doing something super dramatic to my eyes, I always like to do my skin first and then work on my eyes last. So for foundation, this combination I've been using for a while now and I absolutely love it, which is the Hello Flawless um, Foundation by Benefit. As you guys can see, I am completely out of it and I'm almost out of Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, so what I am going to do, I've been subbing the all-nighter no not the all-nighter I've been subbing the hello flawless with this LA girl um, cosmetics foundation so what I like to do is I like to pump a little bit of that foundation on my hand I do maybe like two pumps and then I do like one pump of the LA girl cosmetics and then of course you guys already know my beauty blender is what I always use for my foundation. We're just gonna start applying that all over the skin. And the reason why I mix the all nighter is a little more on the darker side. Um, it doesn't match my color. And if I go a shade lighter, it still doesn't match. So I kind of have to mix foundations but I love the coverage that the all-nighter gives me I always just like try to do the least amount of product on my forehead especially because I have such a small forehead um, if you do too much and then on top of that you're gonna highlight and you're gonna contour I just feel like I have a lot of product on my forehead and I don't like that for concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm going to start off with the shade Medium. I don't have much pigmentation, but the little bit that I do have, I like to cover that up first, and then going in to highlight um, the rest of my face. And usually it's just like in the inner part of my eyes. And then with the tip of my Beauty Blender... I'm just gonna blend that out and to highlight the rest of my face I'm gonna be using the light medium um, also a shape tape concealer which I'm almost out I need to go and buy another one and I'm just gonna focus that right under my eyes Now you're just gonna blend that out. Sometimes if you put too much pressure on the Beauty Blender, all the product just tends to stick on the Beauty Blender. So you just kinda wanna blend that out very lightly. 
So now picking up my translucent powder by Laura Mercier and this Morphe. This Morphe brush doesn't have a number, but it comes in a set. Um, I think I've talked to you guys about this on my Snapchat. Um, it comes with like multiple brushes. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and then just press it on my under eyes. I'm almost like pressing and dusting at the same time. To warm up my skin, I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade Bronze. It's a little broken because I travel with it a lot, but this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever 134 Wavy Brush. I'm gonna pick that up and just warm up my face. I really like this bronzer because it's not too orangey, it's not too brown, just kind of warms up the skin really nice. And it almost gives you a really nice glow. It's a little bit more pronounced, so I'm just gonna Use that same translucent powder. You see? Makes my cheeks stand out a little bit more. And for blush, I'm going to be using this. Um, it's called Just Peachy by MAC. And this one is from their Extra Dimension collection. I'm going to be picking up this brush. This one is also from the Morphe collection that I was talking to you guys about, that it comes in a set. And I'm going to pick that up. And for powder, I'm going to be using the Medium Dark Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. I am just going to pick up a powder brush. This one is by Smashbox in the number two. And I'm just going to press it into my skin. And usually for highlight, I like to use the Illuminati by Artist Couture, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm going to, to sub with Gold Digger instead. Gold Digger is a little bit more, I want to say pigmented, it's a little more on the golder side. So that's why I like to use Illuminati. Gold Digger I like to use when I'm going to go out and I need my highlight to just blind everyone. So... I'm going to pick up this dual fiber brush and a little bit of the Illuminati and I'm also going to be spraying it. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and I'm using a dual fiber brush because I have a little bit more control of how much product I want to apply. Oh! I don't want to apply that much product. That's quite all right, because I'm just going to blend that out. You see how pretty that is? So moving on to eyebrows, using the Benefit Cosmetics for slicing my brow pencil. And first I'm going to brush that out. So I always like to start obviously at the bottom of my brow. And as you guys can see, I'm doing step by step. I'm not fully just drawing a line under my eyebrow. I'm just following the shape of my brow. And the shade that I'm using is number five in the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And to clean up under my brows, I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the shade Medium. And just an angled brush. And this brush I actually got at Naomi's, and it's the number 4T. It looks like this. And you want to do the same thing that you did under your brow. You want to do small steps and you clean. And just buff that out. Whatever extra I have from that product, I'm just going to apply it as my base and then set it with the translucent powder 
if you are more on the oily side on your lids you can always use the urban decay primer potion that one works really really well or um, one of my favorites is the primer by benefit and it's a lemonade I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top of that concealer because I tend to have um, more oily eyelids so just kind of dab that on the lids and I'm just gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder that brush that I use for under my eyes and just kind of dust that through and for my eyes I'm going to be using this uh, dose of colors baked browns um, palette it looks like this these are usually my go-to um, colors when I want to create like an everyday look um, because it has like your warmer tones and then also it has your darker tones um, and then you also can use this as a base it has many many options for you to create many looks so I'm gonna be using that on my eyes so first I'm gonna start off with this transition shade this one I believe is called outdoorsy it's this one right here and I'm gonna be using this Sigma e40 brush and I always like to start right in the center of my crease and I'm putting a pretty good amount of pressure. I'm just going back and forth, windshield wiper motion and circular motion at the same time. Look at how pretty that is. And to add a little bit more depth to the crease, I'm gonna be picking up this one. This one's called Cherry Wood, and I'm gonna apply it on top of that first transition shade. And I'm using this Morphe brush. This one also came in that set. Um, and I picked up just a little bit on the tip of the brush because it's going to go right in my crease. And when it comes to applying the product on the crease, you just want to go back and forth windshield wiper motion. You want to keep it right on the crease. And for my lid, I'm going to be picking up this color here. It's called Tea Light. And I'm just going to pick that up with a flat synthetic brush. Press that on my lid. You don't want to swipe, you always want to press. That's how you get the most pigmentation out of the shadows and the less fallout. And for liner, of course, you guys know I'm going to be using the NYX liquid liner in black, and this one is the vinyl one. And I'm not going to do a wing liner, I'm just going to do it just to the shape of my eye because it's a daytime look so I tried to just not do a wing so much for my waterline I usually use the MAC chromographic pencil in NW 25 NC30, I think that's what it is. Um, but I ran out, so I also use the Wonder Pencil by NYX. This one is in the shade medium, and this is what's gonna go in my waterline. I like to use this because my eyes tend to get really red sometimes, especially in the evening when I'm really, really tired. So I like to use this in my waterline to neutralize any redness. Um, that may appear either in pictures or in person this is going to do the job and for mascara i'm going to be using the benefit roller lash mascara i just went everywhere looking for my scissors and they were right here in front of my nose if it was a snake it would have bit me my mom used to tell me that all the time Si fuera una culebra, te hubiera mordido. She would always send me to go get something, and I would always tell her, I couldn't find it. No sé dónde está. And then she would walk with me, pull me by my ear, she would walk with me. She was like, y si lo encuentro, te voy a dar una nalgada. And then it would be right in front of me. And then she would give me a nalgada. And then she would say, Si fuera una culebra, te hubiera mordido. 
now I say that to Anthony. So now I'm just, I just put a little bit of glue. I'm gonna be using the, these are the Judy Lashes by Flutter. I didn't let my lash glue get tacky, which I'm gonna do now for my other lash while I put this one on. And I find it really easy putting it on with tweezers. So just kind of place it and then just kind of connect it to your lash line. And for bottom mascara, I'm gonna be using the Extended Play by MAC. I love, love, love this mascara for my bottom lash because the brush separates your lashes really well. Because I like to highlight the inner part of my eyes so much. Not so much, but all the time. I'm using this tea light eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner of my eyes. And for my lips, I'm gonna be using this Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Tender Setter. I am going to apply the Naked Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Using the NYX Glam Lip Gloss, and this one is called VIP. It's more of like a nude, sparkly pink. And to finish up the look, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. This is going to make the makeup last all day, and you're all so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment below with any other suggestions. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!